This week, racism, social injustice, police brutality in the United States dominated the world conversation as people took to the streets to protest the murder of George Floyd. My reaction to all that was silence, maybe a few thoughts, and now I'm finding the words. My first step is recognizing my privilege in all of this, uh, my identity and the role that it's played in my life. I identify as a white, cis male, heterosexual, able-bodied American citizen, and that has shaped how I'm perceived uh, every, every step of the way. Uh, in terms of how people have, have met me, invited my comments, uh, acknowledged what I've said, uh, and, and responded to me. I got to go to private school, starting in middle school. I attended Brown University on nearly a full scholarship. Uh, and I've been invited to speak around the world uh, to, share my, to share my work and my, my experience. These opportunities have all been afforded by my privilege in this. And I want to make use of my skin tone, my gender, my stature, my position to be of help to other people. It's a debt of gratitude in that way for everything that's been given to me every single step of the way. Day to day, I work on solutions to the changing climate. And scientifically, sometimes that seems like uh, an impact that affects people equally around the world. But I'm learning that it doesn't. Climate and the changing climate impact indigenous people more, the changing climate impacts people in developing countries more, and the changing climate impacts people of color more. That said, in my experience, the climate community is mostly white and mostly male. And that's not going to change unless we change it, unless I make a change, uh, and unless you make a change. When COVID took the world stage, I jumped on it because I had expertise in biotechnology. I worked to understand COVID and climate and how this big external force would help us to shape uh, a better future. But I don't have expertise on police brutality, social justice, or racism. My response has been silence. And this week I found that making small statements helps me to, to break up that silence. Uh, I started small, saying things like, police brutality is bad, beating up protesters is wrong. And I've started to add more words, more specificity, more detail, and I found that that helps unlock more momentum too. That policeman needs to stop beating up that unarmed black woman. That is racism. And this is the beginning of a journey for me. I have been complacent and I have a lot of work to do. Uh, I want to continue to listen and to, to grow. I have the incredible uh, privilege of being surrounded by, by people who are uh, willing to listen, willing to share their, their stories. Uh, so if you had an aligning conversation this week or maybe you read an article that, that sparked some thoughts, I'd love to hear about it uh, if, you're up for, if you're up for sharing. Uh, and yeah, if, if you have a, a voice in the back of your head that's, that's encouraging you to do something or help an organization or do something within your community, now is the perfect time to do it.